Hi, my name is Peej, let me not waste your time. Today I'm going to be showing you how to extrude your logo in DaVinci Resolve for free without using any other 3D programs. The way that we're going to do this is by putting our logo into a font type and installing it onto our computer so we can put it into Resolve. In order to make our font, we're going to use the website Calligrapher, which is a nice and easy way to make a font. The only downside is you have to sign up to make the account. Once you're here, you're going to hit get started for free and then you're going to make your account. I'm going to do that right now. Once you verify your email, you're going to go to this screen and then you just hit start app. Basically, it's going to take you to the page where you're going to start creating your template. Basically, how this works is that you're going to get a template, you're going to download it, and then you're going to put the photos on top of the template, and then you're going to upload it back up to the calligrapher, and it's going to make your font. So, just hit create template, and you're going to start filling out what letters you want for me, because I know how to speak English. I'm going to do minimal English, and I'm also going to do minimal numbers. And these should be enough for what I need. Now, hit download template. We're going to make sure that we have the file format on PNG and then we're going to make the size of the template cells put it all the way up so we have the most resolution within our logo. I'm just going to download this right here and then download the zip file and save it. And once it's in our library, we can extract it so we can get the files that we need. We're going to should be a couple files that are here, but it's just because of the grids and how big they are. And we're only going to use one of them to upload. The way that we're going to put our logo onto that PNG is actually with Google Drawing. We could technically do it through Resolve, but I want the maximum quality. I'm going to do it through here. Once we open up a project, what we need to do is go to File, go down to Page Setup. Then we're going to change the resolution from Standard to Custom. We're going to change it from 10 to 7.75. Then we're going to change the inches to 11. Then we're going to take our template number one and we're going to drag it on here. Then reposition it a little bit until we have it fitting the whole composition. Let's drag it up like that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our logo from our library. It doesn't matter if it's black or white because we're going to change it to black either way. I have this one here, so the shadow doesn't really matter that much, but we're just going to place the logo inside the one of the boxes. Let's do uh, one. That seems more manageable and as big as possible, but not too close to the edge. So sometimes it's cut off at the edge. And then we're going to click the logo. We're going to right click it, go to format options. Then in the recolor section, we're going to change the recolor. I'm going to change it to black, just like that. And it should be good. So we're just going to go to file, download this as a PNG. We can go back to calligrapher. Once we're back on Calligrapher, we can go to My Fonts, and then Upload Template. Basically, you're going to choose the file with the template that you filled out in it. Upload it, Upload Template. Right, after you upload it, it should give you the, the little preview of what it's going to look like. And once you're happy with it, sometimes it gets cut off on the edge, so make sure it's not cut off on this box. So if you see all of it, it's good. You're going to hit Add Characters to your font. It's going to show up here. And next thing you can do in order to make the font is we're going to hit Build Font. And you're going to rename it to whatever you want and then you hit build so it's going to generate a font and then you could preview see how big or small it's going to be it's going to look like that and i think that's fine it's a little bit rounded but that's that's fine it's not that noticeable so once i'm happy with it i'm just going to go up here and just download either with the otf or the ttf i usually do the ttf and then just save it in your downloads then at this point you're going to need to shut off resolve because then you're going to install the font let me just bring up the file with the font inside it. So you have it here, we're just going to right click and then we're going to hit install for all users. And it's going to start installing that. Once that is done, you can reopen Resolve and then use your font. Once you've successfully opened Resolve, you can go into a new Fusion composition. Then you can set up your 3D scene. So basically, I'm going to use a text and a 3D render right there. And it's your media out. And then we're going to type in 1 because that's the number that the logo is on. And I'm going to go to uh, the font, which is called Peach font. So I can actually just hit P and it goes straight to the, wherever the P's are installed around over here. Let me just look for Peach. There we go. And then there you have your logo. And the way you extrude it, so if you review the text 3D, is you go to extrusion that's down here and just up that a little bit. And if you want to get a different color on this side, you need to go to the shading tab over here uncheck you will use one material and then change this color that's down here to whichever one you want. If you have any more questions or suggestions on what you should do in the future, please let me know down below in the comment section. If you'd like to join the Resolve AMV Community Discord, there's a link in the description as well as my own server if you'd like to join. And with that, subscribe and have a good day.